Hello, my name is Dorothy Rosen. Uh, I'm a goldsmith in Halifax, Nova Scotia. But today I'm coming to you yet from a different place, talking about yet something else. Today I'm going to talk about Kudo, which is a contemplative form of archery, uh, which I'm practicing this weekend uh, here in uh, this meditation center, at this meditation center near uh, Tadamagush, Nova Scotia. So yes, um, the life of uh, an entrepreneur, even an entrepreneur in the arts, is quite busy. Uh, I have a lot of clients um, in uh, all across Canada, coast to coast, and also in the U.S. and in Europe. And um, I'm pretty busy because I'm pretty much a one-woman operation. So I need something else to balance that busyness. And if you follow me. Um, on social media you know that I exercise and uh, nutrition is important to me uh, and I'm a meditator uh, I've been uh, a meditator for over 30 years and what um, Kudo is uh, Kudo being the way of the bow is a kind of meditation in action it's um, archery as it's contemplative archery, archery as meditation. I'm just going to show you my bow real quick. This is my bow. This is a, it's very long. It's a traditional Japanese long bow. I'm showing you now because I'm about to move it uh, away from this very misty uh, weather, which is not very good for it. I'm going to stick it in the forest right over there under the trees. Uh, so it actually it just stopped this thing. So I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay because of course this is a living thing and I have to be very careful how I treat it. It doesn't uh, like too much heat or too much moisture. I'm talking a little bit quietly because uh, the class is still in session uh, in what is called the pavilion. I will show you here. Inside there, this is a meditation space and bel uh, below it you see the dining room uh, building and another uh, an office building and other uh, residence uh, residential building over this way somewhere <laughs> and uh, yeah this is called the pavilion and this is our shooting platform so if it wasn't so wet uh, we would have our kudokas lined up here and practicing there's a long form and a short form, uh, um, so we have various areas set up in other places. But I wanted to tell you just a little bit about this, not too long, because again, I don't want my uh, Yumi, that's what that bow is called, to be damaged by the moisture. So as I was saying, Kudo is a, a form of meditation. Uh, I practice or we practice Kudo in the tradition of Heki Ryu Bishu Chiku Rinha, which um, uh, I learned from Kon Konjuro Shibata Sendai, uh, the imperial bowmaker of Japan, uh, who has since passed away, and we now study under, under his son, um, Shibata Sensei, the 21st. And when you first learn Kyudo, it is much like the practice of tea, a very repetitive, uh, there are seven coordinations, and you just do one, and then the next, and then the next, and then the next, and it's prescribed, very slow, and uh, and then at some point in there you release your arrow and on upon the release of the arrow you really get to kind of see your own mind it's like your state of mind becomes very apparent and i've been doing this for probably 15 plus years actually i started about 30 years ago and then uh, 31 years ago and then um, had to drop it for a while for raising children and it's too hard and uh, picked it up again about about 15 years ago actually so so yeah in Kyudo we say that we um, polish the mind there's a lot of work with hope and fear am I going to hit the target am I not going to hit the target and um, if you work with this again and again and again and again you learn to drop it you learn to drop it and just be in the moment and be with each movement of those coordinations and uh, hitting the target is really not important at all, actually. Uh, in fact, sometimes we shoot at a target that's just a bow length away, most of the time. Most of the time we don't shoot that far. 
So um, being totally present uh, is really the goal, uh, the goal of this practice. And I have to say in all these years, I never stopped learning and discovering new things about myself. So um, Kyudo, just for the history a little bit, um, I wrote about this in my newsletter. Uh, if you read my newsletter, you already know these things. But um, uh, Kyudo is, well, uh, it's also sometimes called Zen archery, although we don't call it that. Uh, it is connected with Zen. In during the Edo period, uh, and I talked about that period during my live about pearls because it was really important for that. Uh, there w that was a time when um, Japan was closed off and for uh, a long time. And during that time, um, the bow was of course first used as a weapon and then as, um, uh, as the gun became more important as a weapon, uh, the bow was not so much. And long story short, some Zen monks um, found that it has this potential to wake people up and this form was developed to uh, work with your mind through uh, using a bow and arrow. This is a very abbreviated form of, of really the history. Um, so yeah, um, we practice this a lot. There's a group in, in Halifax. It is, uh, takes a lot of patience and a lot of commitment, but it's a really wonderful practice and one that's extremely important to me. Um, it really connects the earth and the sky and me as a human being in between. Uh, I would say over the years it has really changed how I see myself and just my strength and confidence has, has really uh, hugely improved. It is a meditative practice so meditation on a meditation cushion is extremely helpful. Um, and during the time that I stepped away from this actual practice with the bow, I only did only did meditation practice on a meditation cushion, and it, I was really a different Kyoto practitioner by the time I came back. I think I'm going to leave it with that because I want to get back in there. It's a rare opportunity for me to be able to do this. Um, so I just wanted to share this a little bit about my life because it's so important to me. And next week I'm going to talk about something different. So please take good care and uh, ask me any questions in the comments below that, that you might have. Bye.